Okay, good afternoon, penny stock billionaires. Today is October 19th. We've got the closing bell chart action here. Uh, another exciting day in the markets. We got Visby on fire right now. Uh, but first, uh, I want to talk about the Tesla. Tesla is one of the bellwethers, one of the, one of the kind of the bellwethers we look at for speculative stocks and um again this is something which uh you know uh you know we've been talking about for almost really about a year you know it was around in the 400 range uh, last uh, november so hey this is going to go to a thousand plus right now uh i believe we're going to see eighteen hundred two thousand dollars on tesla Again, I'm not a fan of Tesla. I don't care about Tesla. I don't know anything about their business. Uh, I hate their cars. But th this chart is, uh, I mean, the charts don't lie. And, um, you know, we're going to see kind of like a, you know, cup and handle type of thing happening over here. And uh, we might see a little bit of a, of, a, of a drop here into like the 830, 28, 20, yeah, maybe like 835 range. And, and we're this is going to break out probably within a week. We're going to see this thing above 900, closing in on 1,000. Once Tesla breaks out of 1,000, it's going to be extremely bullish for all speculative assets, whether it's penny stocks, Bitcoin, etc. cetera. So uh, you can basically get a choice here. You can either you know get into Tesla here, double your money, right? You can double your money in Tesla, or you can get into a stock like Visby, which um, is actually from here is probably a triple from here. Uh, and of course, OG could be a 10 bag or even a hundred bagger from here. So um, let's take a look at Visby right now. Oh my God, we can't believe we're at a dollar 80. Uh, you know, look, to be honest, I'm not here to hype the stock. This is not what this is about. Um, and uh, at this point, I don't think it really needs uh, me to uh, talk this thing up. But by the way, does this chart look familiar to you? Does this look familiar? It's pretty much right up until November, September 10th. This kind of looked a little bit like the Tesla chart, right? Well, this is kind of what happens when these things break out. By the way, does this look familiar? Well, it also looks like PKK before it broke out of that uh, $3 range. Six dollars post split, one to 15, uh, 14 and a half, whatever. So, um, so I think we're gonna see kind of the same thing happening here. I think Visby has a lot of legs. Um, I'll tell you, first of all, I would actually love to see some selling come in here. I, I'd love the stock to drop off to maybe a dollar 70, maybe a dollar 50. Even I want I'd love to see some people shaking out of this. Uh, realistically, though, I think we're probably gonna consolidate here. Kind of the dollar seventy dollar ninety five range. I don't think it's going to get above two dollars for at least another, you know, until at least till next week, maybe another week, because it, 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 this is a pretty healthy run. It does need to consolidate a little bit. However, I do have to say, I mean, this chart is really just a classic textbook example of a major, major, uh, just. I don't want to say parabolic. It is kind of parabolic, but what you're not seeing is you're not seeing these gaps. You're not seeing any kind of gaps. And you're seeing like, if you notice the last three trading days, you're seeing full trading ranges. You know, the stock goes up, you, you open high, low, close. Like, let me see if I can show you the, on, on the candlestick maybe. Um, yeah, so, you, you know, it trades throughout the whole day. It's not just like one crazy gap. So the thing is actually... It, it is very, very powerful, extremely powerful uptrend, but it's under control. It really is under control. Um, however, I, I really, I'd, I, I should say I would like to see it cool off a little bit, consolidate a little bit. It could be wishful thinking. Again, I, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm projecting my personal opinions onto it, which, you know, nobody gives, nobody cares. But, okay, what you can see is, Again, this is the thing I've been talking about is this thing, uh, you see a kind of a breakout, consolidation, breakout, consolidation, breakout, consolidation. 
And what you're seeing today, very similar to the, to the pattern I talked about yesterday, which is you kind of have this rising um, uh, kind of consolidation. So it's really, I mean, it's like super, super bullish. Um, but I would absolutely, I mean, I'm almost willing to bet we're going to kind of consolidate here between a dollar ninety-five, a dollar seventy. You know, shake some people out, let it cool off a little bit, and, and then it could, you know, next week it could explode. I mean, I, we could see two fifty next week. Again, it's a stock we introduced at uh, fifteen cents last year, literally twelve months ago. It is up over thirteen hundred percent. I think ultimately, though, we could see $5 on the stock. I know it sounds crazy. I know people say, oh, no, it's impossible. Well, listen, nobody believed the stock when it was $0.15. Cents. Nobody believed it when it was $0.40. Cents. Nobody believed it when it was $0.50. Cents. Actually, well, Sean Black believed it when it was $0.50 cents right here. I think this is when he uh, started talking about it. So definitely we're seeing the Sean Black effect in the last month. Absolutely. Um, and... Um, yeah, so this thing is extremely powerful. Um, and at the rate it's going, look, I mean, the, the fundamentals of the story just keep expanding. I mean, you know, we're I think we've seen just the tip of the iceberg with this thing. So um, this thing has got a lot of legs, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of torque. Um, five bucks might take a few months to get to five dollars. I think we'll see 250 next week. Uh, uh, five. How, how many shares did he, did he buy? I, I don't know how many. Shares. He says he bought a material. What is a material? This is the word material amount. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah. Listen, nobody believed. You know, listen. PKK is a stock we introduced at thirty-five cents again a year ago, seventy cents post split, but. Nobody believed when you know the stock was in that three dollar range, six dollars post split uh, for six months, uh, and I was saying, hey, it's going to break out, it's going to break out. Nobody believed it. Nobody believed the stock at a dollar, and sure enough, it hit fourteen bucks. Um, however, I um, I think unlike um, Peak, I think Visby right here has a lot of legs to go. It's still early, early stages. Shockingly. It, really is uh, Lisa I'm expecting Lisa RHT will be back next week uh, so let's talk about RHT in just a second I want to jump into um, another one of our big momentum stocks right now which is OG a stock that uh, we I guess technically we introduced it on Sunday Sunday I had that live stream check out that video with uh, the CEO with Matt it's on the Wall Street Reporter channel, Wall Street Reporter 1843. It's amazing. I, I, I don't want to, I mean, you, know, I, you, know, you know, I sometimes exaggerate a little bit, but this thing is no exaggeration. When you see this story, it's like the future of retail. This is next generation. And I'll tell you the reason why this stock is not $2 right now or $3 is simply because I think there is a real uh, misperception in the market because either people think, oh, it's just a grocery store, an organic grocery store. Oh, it's just a store. Well, no, it's 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 the early stages of a massive chain, okay? It's going to be like, we're talking about something which is going to be potentially bigger than Whole Foods. The only thing, you know, the only thing really, I think at this point, because they get the model dialed in. When you see this, you'll understand it. The model is dialed in, and that's the hardest part for, for business when, to get that retail model dialed in. Um, I'm looking forward to the live stream on Thursday. Uh, and again, I'm a, I, I don't think I've, I've been as enthusiastic about a stock in, I don't know, I, I don't remember, maybe ever. It's very possible. Um, I'm extremely enthusiastic about OG because I think it's got, it could be a hundred bagger. Um, again, of course, I could be wrong, go to zero. Actually, let me just run. Let me run this disclaimer real quick here, just to make sure that uh, yeah, 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 nothing here is a recommendation, da, 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 et cetera. You can read all this below. Uh, but um, yeah, so he, there's there's two misperceptions about o organic garage O G G F F over the counter for the Americans, and it is this: you got some people who think, oh, it's just a retail grocery store. Oh, they got four stores. Oh, okay, that's it. They're never going to expand. 
the other people think, oh, it's a play on, uh, you know, um, vegan foods. They're doing this vegan butter, vegan cheese, etc. Well, the vegan brand business is a small part of their business. It could be a huge part. Right now, it's in the world. I'm not even that the vegan stuff, the brands, it doesn't even figure into my investment thesis. Uh, here is my investment thesis. I will lay out for you. And, and, and it's very simple. Here, here is what it is. They got four stores right now. Um, and again, it's a, it's a relatively new company. It took them a couple of years to get the model dialed in. Uh, and again, retail is a hard business. Organic foods, it's a difficult business. There's moats around it. It's not easy to get into the business. It's not like some tech stocks, not some, some whatever. It's a difficult business, uh, which makes it valuable. Uh, tremendous brand name, Organic Garage. One of the great names out there. Uh, it's a name that can travel globally. Uh, it could, it could, Canada, this thing that they're in Toronto, the problem is that these guys are in Toronto. They would have started in California, started in you know Austin, Texas. With these four stores, it would have been a billion dollar valuation already. The problem is the Canadians do not understand like genius when it's in front of them. That's why you see, you know, all the great talent you know, goes to the U.S. I mean, you know, we're talking about from, uh, what's the guy, even the, the Saturday Night Live guy, what's his name, Lorne Michael, right? I mean, all the great comedians, they never made it in Canada. Uh, only when they come to the U.S. did they make it big. Case in point, this guy, Russell Peters, I know, I, I only heard of him because I think he's with Trip. Um, I never heard of this guy before. It's probably, he may not be talented because in Canada, he's big. In the U.S., nobody really knows who he is. Um you know, so <laughs> no offense to Russell P. I, I, I don't, you know, he's not like, you know, big in the U.S. It's, it's a fact. Uh, who's the guy? McDonald, Norm McDonald, great comedian, another Canadian, uh, great uh, comedian. So bottom line is that Canada does not understand talent when it's in front of them. And this story, it's too real. It's too accessible. You guys, you guys in Canada will not understand what this is. Until probably the stock is already ten dollars and it's already in the U.S. and it's going to forty dollars, etc. So here's here's my investment thesis: They got four stores. They're doing twenty five million roughly ballpark run rate. Um, they're going to go to probably. I think they could probably get this up to let's call it let's call it twenty stores uh, in twenty months, eighteen months. Uh, again, the market is forward looking, so you're going to see the values start, you know, going up when you get 20 stores and they're doing, let's say the same type of numbers, let's say they're doing, um, 200 million revenues with the 20 stores, they get the vegan business kicking in some money. Um, that business, again, it's not a tech stock. It's not going to get a 10 times multiple. It's not going to get a 20 times multiple. It'll probably be worth four to five X. So roughly a billion dollar valuation, four to five times revenues. Um, why? Because they got good margins, powerful brand, massive room for expansion, early stages of expansion. Again, they can, you know, they can go from 20 stores to 200 stores in probably a couple of years. Uh, and again, the market is forward looking. I mean, I talked about the power of the retail brand scale rollout concept. So you get a billion dollar valuation, right? Uh, let and by the way, it doesn't take a lot of money to open these stores. We talked about it on the interview. There's not going to be dilution. I don't think you're going to see like, you know, uh, you might see they got what, 60 million shares. Let's say in theory, they get to 100 million shares, possibly in two years. So, um, you know, a billion dollars divided by 100 million is $10 a share. You're talking about $10 a share. By the way, so we're saying 18 months. I think it's going to happen faster. Uh, the other misperception is this: is people think, oh, um, this thing. Uh, I think they got a. They got a. Uh, 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 what they they filed a uh, a prospectus. They filed a prospectus uh, about a, a couple of weeks ago. So people thought, oh, they're going to raise money here. Yeah, I know in Canada everybody's paranoid. Oh my God, these guys are going to raise money. This is going to be dilution. Uh, okay, they're not raising money here. Uh, again, uh, they could. They could raise it tomorrow. They might. Uh, you know, they might. You know, do an offering 100 billion shares at, you know, five cents, you know, very possible. You never know what can happen in the world. But my take on it is I don't see anything happening below 75 cents, 
probably not a dollar. Most likely, I don't see anything happening below a dollar. Uh, and again, you can ask Matt. He's going to be on the live stream uh, uh, Thursday. Uh, so yeah, they got a couple million bucks in cash. now. They don't need the money. So they may not even do this offering for six months. They may not raise money for six months. So this thing, I know it's kind of overhanging this possibility of prospects. It's this paranoia thing, but I don't see that as an issue. And uh, when they do raise money, it's just going to add fuel to this thing. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> I, I hate the retail business. I would never want to be in the retail. Uh, the beauty of this thing is this. I think people have said the retail is a very difficult business. Yeah, it is. That's why you let this guy do the work for you. <laughs> you find a guy who's a genius at it. This guy, Matt, is an absolute genius. He understands experiential retail. That store is not retail. It's an experience. It's entertainment. When you go in that store, it's it, it, people are going there for entertainment, okay? That's what it is. Um, I mean, they could be charging double what they charge, but it's a disc they're selling things at a discount. Um, Jennifer Pitt gets it. Uh, there you go. Lifestyle. I think she understands it. Uh, Visby 100X. I think it could be a 100 bagger. If you're willing to wait two, three years, this could be a $40 stock. I mean, this really has all the ingredients of, a, of something which can has a lot of legs. Look, one of the problems with technology stocks, I love tech stocks. The problem is, you know, there's... You know, there's always new technologies. There's obsolescence. There's it's competitive. There's moats. You know, there's a lot of retail people will always need to eat, uh, and especially if they can buy the food at a discount, uh, quality food, quality selection, and um, they get entertained at the same time. You know, people they don't want to they don't want to have food delivered to their house. I mean, they don't want to have the, the groceries. Delivered. Maybe some do, but. Uh, what people want, especially after the whole pandemic thing, they want to go out. They want to be entertained. They want to be around other human beings. They want to be in social settings. Human beings have not changed in, I don't know, millions of years. Uh, it just, people don't change. Uh, that's the way it is. So uh, let's get back to, yeah, there we go. Kitchen Original. Oh, that's their other brand. They haven't even talked about it. That's their other brand private label brand, huge. I mean, these guys have a bunch of things in there that are huge, huge, huge. Um, I got a bunch of options on this. So I think I'll do very well. But I tell you what, I think when I exercise, I don't think I'm, I'm going to sell. This is the one stock I really, I, I, don't, I don't see myself selling. I think this is going to be that 100x. It's going to be, you know, I haven't had 100x yet on this with the super stock platform. So this could be the first 100 bagger. I'm looking forward to this. We've had 50 baggers, 20 baggers, 10 baggers. We have not had 100 bagger yet. So um, let's go back to Visby. Uh, uh, Visby, I think it'll be five bucks in you know, a couple of months, six months. Yeah, easy. Uh, okay. So let me go back. Okay, we've got a, 10 minutes before the close. Let's cover a couple more stocks. Again, Organic Garage, I explained to you why this is, you know, easily a $10 stock. Uh, by the way, what's your downside? Your downside is zero. Why do I say it's zero? Uh, because, uh, actually, I should say, yeah, the stock could go, it could go to zero. But the downside here is like nothing because the company right now has a 25 million market cap, right? That's basically one times revenues. A private equity firm would probably pay double that, maybe even triple that. So worst case, if these guys really screw up, if they don't, if they don't scale up in the next uh, six months, 12 months, you're going to make a dollar. And basically, the stock is going to be a dollar if they fail. In other words, if this company fails, it's going to be a dollar stock because it's worth three times revenues, maybe even four times revenues to a private equity firm who's going to you know put in you know a couple bucks take the concept organic garage scale it out in the US scale it out maybe in Europe etc and and they're going to make a, a fortune listen it's what happened with um I put up a thing Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret you know the the lingerie thing 
you know, they had four stores, five stores in California back in, I don't know, the early 80s. Uh, Leslie Wexner bought them out and, you know, became a multi-billion dollar brand in a couple of years. And, you know, the rest is history. Same thing. Retail is very, very scalable. Okay, so uh, what else is going on here? Uh, we got stuff that's moving. RHT, uh, we're going to have Lisa on next week. Again, this chart pattern, a very similar pattern to what we're seeing with um, Visby before with, uh, what do you call it, with Tesla. I'm looking for 250 on this. Uh, it's going to probably break out to a buck 25 next week. We're going to see probably new all-time highs next week um and 250 by december uh take a look at the videos we have on wall street reporter 1843 channel the video interviews a lot of fascinating detail which explain why exactly what is the path for relic to be a 250 a five dollar stock very easily um what else is moving skylight by the way uh if you're not a member of our telegram channel you should definitely subscribe we'll talk about skylight one of our former next super stocks, which is on the move right now. Uh, it broke out above the 50-day moving average. Major level of resistance, it broke above that. Uh, so I think what we need to really see is for this thing to clear 450, 450, 475 next level of resistance, maybe $5. Once this thing breaks out of $5, it's like going to be uh, you know game on. Uh, we might, uh, you know, you might see some interesting things happening. So stay tuned, as they say, uh, ESE. So this one is on the launch pad here. I th the launch is going to happen any minute. Now, we're going to have Conrad, the CEO, back next week, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. Again, this is a roll-up story in the esports space. Esports, one of the biggest themes right now. It's going to be huge. Uh, Raya uh, is going to be huge. Uh, let me get to Raya in just a second. Um, and uh, let me just pop this banner up here. Yeah, make sure you uh, click the link in the video description to join our Telegram channel. Uh, so, yeah. So, ESC, I'm waiting for – this thing is on the launch pad. It's, this thing, it's, we're just waiting for somebody to push that button, and then it takes off. And this thing could be four dollars fifty cents in a flash. Again, last year went from three fifty to four four and change after we introduced it. So I'm I'm expecting huge things. Um, what else we got happening here? Uh, Raya, yeah. So Raya, I think I mentioned. I think Raya is kind of you know we've had a bit of a of a pullback here. Uh, it might drop a little bit here before it bottoms out. So it could see seven and a half, eight cents, very possible. Um, there's not enough data on the chart yet. So again, it's only, you see the chart is really, it's kind of hard to read it. So uh, let's, let me look at the one hour. Is, yeah, so let's see the one hour. Uh, the one hour, yeah, we could, you know, look, we could see this thing uh, drop to seven and a half cents. It could drop another penny before it re, you know, gets gets the mojo back um and starts moving i think ultimately this is going to be a 10 bagger so you know buck 50 from uh the price that it debuted at or 10 cents i think it came out at so yes yeah, so a dollar dollar 50 on this uh we're going to have greg back on the live stream probably next week also so raya i think is in good shape uh rht esc we talked about uh what else is moving okay visby wow okay so buck 73 very strong close let's see here we got uh let's take a look at the 15 minute chart uh whoa, a bit of a, a bit of a sell off by the way i hope somebody wasn't like listening to this and says oh shit this thing is crap no this thing is uh is in very good shape but this could be a, this this might have been the pullback uh, an aggressive wow, this is the aggressive pullback here a buck seventy. So this is actually this is actually very positive. This is very positive. Positive that the stock is not overheating. Um, so it, nice little bit of a pullback, and uh, it gives it more room to run. So this is actually very very bullish. Uh, let's catch up to some. Oh, uh, sorry, I just saw your thing right now. Yeah, mini dump. So yeah, I, I would not. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, this news, 
I was I I I was not expecting it. I don't think anybody. So I think this is not the main driver here. I think it's going to be a nice pot. I think this could be very big, but this is not. I don't think this is the news that the market is like waiting for that is going to make it explode. So this is a nice piece of news, but you know it's um, it's just another just another you know arrow in the quiver for this thing. Uh, yeah. This, yeah, again, RHT could be one of the huge, huge, huge stocks. Huge. Uh, come, I don't know. Well, at 100x, that means, that means $15, right? 15 bucks, right? So, uh, you know, you never know. <laughs> you never know. It's anything is possible. I think though, five bucks is probably. Uh, let's see what happens when it gets to five. Okay, that's going to be five. Yes, I do. Uh, I actually from an option exercise. I'm actually, I'm sitting with a bunch of Visby right now, uh, which is technically still restricted, uh, but uh, I am uh, happy with this thing. So yes, yeah, so I got a, uh, some Visby here. And uh, yeah, I'd be very happy if it goes to fifteen dollars. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to get the five bucks. We'll see what happens after that. Um, so Gaz X. Oh, so this is one of the stocks that we should. This is not really in our super stock. It's more of in our like discovery day platform. So it's kind of a uh, yeah. Look, it's going up. Uh, by the way, great looking chart. I think this is going to break out. Uh, so. Technically, we're not really working with. I mean, we. I think we had like a three month deal with them, and uh, we just did an update because they didn't really do enough stuff in the last three months. The last time we had them on, so uh, I figured, look, I, I want to make it up to them, give them some, um, you know, an update. Uh, I like the people there. I think this is like, you know, this is a blue chip, triple A team here. Uh, you just got to look at the people involved. Uh, these are like, you know, superstars here. Um, so yeah, this thing, it looks like it's going to probably easily double. I can see NG going to, you know, three bucks, five bucks easily. And the CEO of NG has had hundred baggers before. So this is a, you know, the guy's a superstar. Uh, let's see what is going on into the close. So yeah, so this be a buck 69. All right. Um, I'm wondering if there's some short selling coming in. I, I, I can't imagine anybody would want to short this thing because that would not make any sense here. I actually almost hoping that somebody does short it because it, there'd be like such an epic squeeze coming in that would drive this thing to like $3. It would be just crazy. I mean, this thing is like, it would be insane. Um, very, 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 it would be very, very surprising. So yes, I am not concerned about uh, the sell-off. I mean, look, we are due. I mean, we're, we're due for this thing to pull back a little bit. I mean, you know, it's had a nice breakout. But uh, if it does pull back, um, it, it, it would be just a temporary, uh, I, I, I don't want to use the word buying opportunity because I hate this, you say buying on the dip and all that stuff. But um, yeah, that would be, that would essentially be a, uh, let's see, a buck yeah, it yeah it could we could see a pullback uh, even maybe a buck fifty possible very possible a little bit of a consolidation but again the more this thing pulls back the more it consolidates here the more it'll rebound higher with more power uh, so you know if if it doesn't pull back we'll get to two twenty five next week and it's going to consolidate for probably six weeks, maybe even two months. Uh, if it pulls back here to let's say a dollar fifty, then it'll go to like 275 before it consolidates. So, so the more so either 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 it consolidates here or it's gonna consolidate. It doesn't make a difference. I mean look, ultimately I think we're gonna see minimum, minimum 250 on the stock, probably five dollars within um, a couple of months, five bucks in the next three, four months. So uh, what else is going on? What are this? Oh, Liquid Avatar. It's one of our former super stocks. I wanted to bring that up. Uh, 
this thing is uh, getting some action here. Some this is a highly speculative stock, uh, but I think we could see this thing move to a quarter. I was talking about the last couple of days, twelve cents. I mean, this thing could really pop. Uh, you got some resistance here at 15 cents. Once liquid avatar breaks above 15 cents, it's going to run to 40 cents, I believe. So again, you know, it's, uh, at least 25, 35 cents. So yeah, watch for the breakout, watch this breakout above 15 cents. If this thing breaks out 15 cents, you're going to see 25 cents and then they're, you know they're doing some NFT things. They're doing also crazy stuff, which which you know, which the market apparently likes. Uh, so there's a lot of speculative eyeballs on it. Um, yeah, um, you know what? It could be yeah. If you if you're willing to wait like three years, it could be a fifteen dollars. I mean, you know, they could be bought out. You know, who never who knows what could happen. Um, yeah, I'm just looking. You know, I mean. I think five dollars is kind of the, the main target. Uh, so let's see what else is going on here. Um, uh, so we're not working with with Delic. We haven't worked with Delic in about a month. Uh, we're not working with Delic uh, right now. Uh, fans, uh, fans is due. Actually, we gotta have an update from them. Fans again is also kind of been consolidating for the last bunch of months building a base very you know it's a pretty strong base at this point so uh, it's a little bit like ese um i think both of these stocks when they break out which is probably going to happen like could happen any day i mean like when i say any day it could happen between now it could happen two weeks from now but but these things are going to explode before the end of the year i mean i think both of these stocks fans ese uh, both of them are going to be at uh, new highs by December. You got to understand something: the sports betting space, esports. I mean, this is like one of the hottest themes of the markets. So, yeah, crazy. Uh, let's see. Wow, shit! Visby got it's got a bit of a got a bit of a beating here. It's crazy here. Buck fifty five. This, this, I was not, I was not expecting. I'll tell you that. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the fifty minute chart. Wow, big profit taking. Yeah. So if it pulls back here, uh, we might see a pullback to let's call it um, the moving average somewhere in here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where could it go back? Uh, this is a sharp pullback. This is like somebody really, somebody whacked this thing here. Um, yeah, this is not something that, that I was expecting. Um, but, uh, if it does pull back, we could see a pullback into this kind of range. Where could it go? Where could it go? Probably, let me pull this up. Let me go to the one day chart. Uh, okay, so if your breakout was 50 cents, a buck 75, so if you had like a 33% retracement, which would be healthy from a buck 75, that would be a dollar 40 cents. So a buck 50, a buck 40. I think that's where you're going to pull back to right here. It's going to pull back to maybe a buck 50, a buck 40 probably for a week, 10 days maybe. And from there, it's gonna go to $253. I think that's the, uh, that's what's gonna happen. Could, or it could turn around tomorrow, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. I, I actually, I am surprised to see that this thing, uh, cl you know, I had this, somebody dumped a bunch of stock at the close here. This is, Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, let me see the five minute chart here. Yeah, wow, crazy, crazy. Uh, so yeah, technically, this chart, you know, you're breaking below the, the moving at the five day, you know, the five minute moving average here. So, uh, yeah, we could see we could see a, a pullback to worst case a buck 45 
kind of in this range, buck 45. Let's see what happens in the next day or two, uh, because I think it will be very healthy for, for this stock to shake out some of the kind of um, late comers, some of the weak hands over here. Um, you know, this is, this is what happens. And um, maybe there might be even some shorts. I, I actually would be surprised if there's real short sellers that would get involved because it just doesn't make any sense to want to short this thing. But if they did at a buck 40, there could be a um, massive, massive, massive uh, short squeeze. And uh, you could see this thing go to north of th north of two fifty three dollars. Uh, did Sean sell? I don't think he sold. I think he's. I think he's. I think he is uh, holding on for two fifty to five dollars. So yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Very very surprising actually. I'm very surprised at this close. Crazy. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I am ninety nine percent certain that that Sean um, is not, would not be selling here. Let me see here. Okay, so yeah, bottom line, Visby, the trend, the trend is intact. Um, yeah, I am surprised that we saw the pullback today. I, I actually was thinking that we would have been closing at like a dollar 70 somewhere in that range consolidating for a couple of days like in the, like I was saying a dollar 70 to a dollar 90 just not letting the stock go above a dollar 90 then next week broken above two bucks but yeah I am surprised by this dump but this is hey, this is the fun of the markets there's always something uh crazy uh happening which you do not expect but uh based on what's happening right now I would say then that yeah we're going to see a pullback then to around a dollar forty minimum, probably maybe even a little bit low because again you got to count from roughly fifty cents to a dollar eighty so that's a dollar thirty, uh, so forty five cents from a dollar so uh, yeah a buck a buck thirty five buck forty five is kind of where this thing would pull back and maybe even a little bit lower. Maybe even dollar twenty-five. That would really freak people out. But if it goes to a dollar twenty-five, that'll be extremely powerful. It goes to a buck twenty-five and it consolidates for ten days. It's then again the more the stock pulls back and consolidates, the more powerful the rebound is going to be. Again, the more this thing comes back, the more it's going to be it's it's like physics it's going to be a very very powerful rebound i mean we've seen this type of thing happen with all these other stocks uh oh look at this super chat 999 skippy all right we got some uh cigar money thank you for the super chat and thank you for uh tuning in even more importantly than the, than, than the super chat uh moats um which moats for which stock which stock i don't know which stock uh let's see here du, 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 du. yeah so there we are uh exciting day in the market last minute surprise listen this is what makes this fun the closing bell chart you never you never know what's gonna happen this is like you know this is better than you know uh, sports or whatever, live TV, you never know what's going to happen. It could, the stock could have gone crazy, and then we had something completely unexpected happen, which is it pulled back, giving up all the day, all the gains um, from today. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Now it could, you know, either we pull back to a dollar thirty-five, dollar forty tomorrow. I would I would give that a fifty percent odds. Or it kind of hangs around here, maybe even goes back to a dollar sixty-five and consolidates from there. But it, it does need to consolidate, it does need to have a couple of days of consolidation. The beautiful thing about this chart is we have not seen these crazy gaps where something is going parabolic that's that's not sustainable. This is really a very, very solid, healthy, healthy chart. So um if it pulls back here, it'll be actually quite good. As you can see, uh, 
every time in the past that it's that it's gone up, it's always pulled back. I mean, it hasn't made crazy moves before. The, but yeah, so here it, uh, it went from forty five cents to uh, sixty five cents. That's a fifty percent move almost, and it pulled back to fifty two cents. That's a it gave, so it gave back fifty percent of the gain. Okay. It broke out from 53 cents to uh, 89 cents. So what is that, 40 cents, let's call it? And it pulled back to uh, 72 cents. So another, so yeah, so basically does the, you know, every time it breaks out, it's got to pull back. Uh, we saw this happen over here. The first time it broke out from 79 cents, it pulled back to, you know, uh, gave up some gains. And then it made a new high again. I think what we're going to see is something very similar to what we saw in this part of the chart from December to January. I think this is what we're going to see um, in the next uh, two weeks. So over the next two weeks, this I think this is what, what's going to happen. We're going to probably pull back to like this $1.35, $1.45 a couple days, consolidate a little bit. Upward consolidation and then break out to like two fifty three dollar range, um, and then we'll see what happens after that. After three dollars two fifty, it's good, it's gonna consolidate for probably three four months uh, before it can take out the five dollar number. So uh, yeah, yeah, man, sell the house, sell the wife, sell the kids, you know. What is it like that uh, apocalypse now, right? That was the line. <laughs> no, I'm not giving any advice. Don't don't sell it. No, no. The, this is, but yeah. Uh, I guess let's yeah. So uh, bets, bets. I said I'm waiting for a word. B l i t s. Bets. Uh, I did have a conversation last week. I think it was last week, um, and I was told something is imminent. Imminent means a week or two. So, uh, Doc, yeah, what's going on, with Doc? I haven't looked at Doc in ages. Uh, former next super stock. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Somebody, somebody dumped one hundred sixty thousand shares. Okay. Very possible. Uh, listen, a lot of people have made money in the stock. You got to realize it. It's due for people want to sell. I mean, if somebody got into it 50 cents, imagine if somebody got into it uh, here at uh, 50 cents last month. I mean, this is a stock that tripled in a month, basically, right? Or, you know, you may have had somebody got into it last year at 15 cents. So they're, they've made a 10 bagger already. So they figure, ah, okay, let's take some profits. Which is you know smart to do usually. However, you know with this thing, you know it's this is very unusual. You know a lot of times when we have a ten bagger, a lot of times, almost 80 percent of the time, when, whenever we have a stock that goes up ten x, by the time it gets that ten x, either it's a little bit too early, either it gets way too ahead of itself, uh, or by then it's already kind of like. It's lost all the energy and the mojo. It's like everybody's in it, like everybody who could possibly buy it. The, everybody's drank the Kool-Aid. The whole cult has been built. This thing is the opposite, actually. Visby is like still very early stages. Nobody was talking about the stock till like a month, a month ago. Uh, I, not even a month, maybe two weeks. Like this wasn't even on, a, on anybody's radar two, two weeks ago, three weeks ago at 75 cents, uh, 60 cents. Nobody was even looking at it. Um, now you got more people. You got, I'm thinking, I'm seeing the CEO CA board. There's like 100 people, uh, which is a lot of people now. And that goes to show you. If if Visby has got a hundred people in the in the chat on CEO CA, and by the way, for contrast, Peak PKK has got like ninety, and Peak is like a monster stock on that board. Uh, to me, that says this thing is still in the early stages. Again, this is this is not like uh, CBDT was last year when went parabolic to two hundred and fifty, and 
you know, it didn't really have the fundamentals at that time to, to support that valuation. Uh, this thing does, and it's just really getting started. I mean, they haven't even put out all the news. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're not working with Tetra TBP MF uh, at this time. Uh, I like the story. So I think long-term, I think it'll do well. Again, it's a speculative biotech type of deal, but the, the fundamentals to me have not changed in that stock. So you got, it's a risk reward bet. I mean, you're basically, you're risking 10 cents to make potentially $2 or more. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Hey, um, apparently somebody was taking profits. So, um, good, good for them. Good for them. Um, I think this is going to, um, what is it, what is it that, that they say on all these messages? Oh, thank you for the cheap shares, which I think is the stupidest thing to say. Oh, thank you for the cheap shares. Usually those people get cheap shares and become cheaper. Uh, but in this case, uh, I think I think we might see some little bit cheaper prices tomorrow. Possibly again, it could go 50 50. We might see a pullback to a buck thirty five, buck forty, or we're going to see people coming in here and taking it up. It can go either way, but ultimately, again, two fifty is the target. Okay, let's wrap up here. Uh, organic Garage forty four and a half cent close. I'm actually shocked that this thing is not fifty cents right now. Really shocked. Uh, what else is moving here? Uh, ESC buck fifteen. Logic. Keep an eye on this one. Um, again, it, it's kind of. I think it's in the process of bottoming out here. There might be a little bit room to go. It could be here. We'll know in a couple of days, basically, on this stock. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I think that one's going to go to fourteen bucks. Fans again. Um, you know, just uh, hanging out, waiting for a catalyst. And uh, Visby, uh, we just covered. Uh, let's see what else was exciting at the close. Uh, Skylight, uh, uh, yeah, nice shape. Uh, needs to close above 425, 430. That's where, it, that's where it needs to close above this range. And then five bucks. Um, and then it could be a $10 stock which uh, Sean Black thinks is going to $10 minimum, minimum. So, all right. Uh, on that note, uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And I will see you on the next live stream, uh, probably, th well, definitely Thursday. We're going to have Organic Garage, 1 o'clock Eastern time. Um, we might do a closing bell tomorrow. We'll see. All right.